Hi guys, welcome back. Yours Truly Macon here. Raise your hand if you struggle with storage and organization for your small bathroom. Well, I think I finally cracked the code. Say goodbye to bathroom clutter forever with this genius storage hack that will transform your space. I swear you will not recognize your bathroom afterwards. Let's get started. If you find yourself struggling with bathroom storage, you are not alone. Did you know clutter in the bathroom is one of the most common issues that people have? Let's look at my bathroom. I have no built-in storage, not even a cabinet under the sink. The space there is just too tight for one. I have this small and then this larger cartel cabinet. The small one is just way too small and I always find myself desperately searching for my things and not finding what I need at all. When I do find them, I am discouraged to put them back, trying to save myself the trouble next time around. And with the large one, I am running back and forth from the cabinet into the mirror and sink and then back to the cabinet. It costs so much energy and time I end up placing the products on my half round console table, telling myself, oh, I'll put that away later. Yeah, what do you guys really think happens? That console gets so cluttered, I am again constantly searching for things. In fact, studies have shown, I actually read this, okay guys? Studies have shown that a disorganized bathroom can lead to unnecessary stress and wasted time. They didn't have to do a study. I could have told them that. You could have told them that. Everybody could have told them that. Having a well-organized bathroom is not just so much more aesthetically pleasing, but also more functional and practical. It is not the first time you have heard these two important aspects of interior design from me. But like other designers, I don't always practice what I preach in my own home, unfortunately. Let's make the first steps together to strive for a clutter-free space to make your daily routine more efficient and enjoyable. First, you need to make a list of the problems you need to address. Limited space, cluttered countertops, and messy cabinets are often the culprits that make it hard to keep things organized. Okay, let's review my list. I can include the three most common culprits as well as efficient storage closer to my sink, storage that gives me better overall view and access to my products, one cabinet to solve the two above because of my limited space. No, I need one cabinet to solve those two problems I have before on my list. And a cabinet that is easy to keep clean. I got to say that those, those um, sliding doors on those cartel cabinets are not very easy to open and close as you would think. So I end up not closing, keeping them open, and the majority of the time they just get uh, so dirty from the dust and the moisture from taking baths and just being in the bathroom. So in the end, more cleaning for me. So the cabinet also needs to be very easy to open and close. Okay. I thought I could solve my list by replacing my half round console with a half round, called in the design world, Demi Loon or half moon cabinet. I was looking for one that not only had the shape and correct size, but optimal storage, meaning that the curved sides, I also want it to be able to open, not just in the front and maybe also that it had some drawers. Everything that I liked was either not the right size, usually too big or too expensive. When size and storage fit, it didn't really appeal to me aesthetically. But one cabinet kept popping up. Perfect size, my aesthetics, checked off all the lists, but was not the typical piece of furniture what goes into a bathroom. But this is when you cannot get caught up with the quote defined or given name or purpose of a piece. The goal is to check off all points of your list, right? Then sometimes you just have to have an open mind and think outside the box. Speaking of boxes, my secret storage weapon was just delivered. We are going to uh, get this unpacked and taken upstairs. But in the meantime, just for you guys, that also oh satisfying decluttering and cleaning. Enjoy.
Okay, time to reveal my new cabinet. The cabinet, the most innovative storage that I have ever had to make such an impact on decluttering my bathroom. Okay, I'm being a little bit too dramatic. Let's remember my list. Limited space. Found a spacious enough cabinet with the right size to fit where the console originally was without blocking access to the sink. Check. The cabinet can be placed closer to my sink. Check. Okay, the cabinet is a little shorter, but look, it opens also. from the top here. So it's okay being shorter because it's an ideal that it doesn't collide with the shelf here. That the top opens, I have better overview of all my products in here. Check that off my list, but it gets better. Wait, you guys. It fully swings open in the front for even more better access. Check, you guys, it's a bar. Do you see the mirror here, the mirror inside? Total visual overview. Everything is easy to find. Face cream or makeup spills, easy cleanup, no more messy inner cabinets. Check, check, check. Optimal storage space because where glasses were planned to be in the doors here, I have for large product bottles and the easy opening and closing. Check, check, check. And wheels. Look, I have wheels just like the larger cartel cabinet for easy movement to clean behind it. True all access accessibility. Okay, I am going to get a piece of beveled glass cut for here and then I can just pull up my stool to sit in. I can reach for all my products, use them, and then set them back where they belong. Don't need to run to my sink because my mirror will be here. Guys, let's get everything arranged into my new cabinet and we will talk in a minute because there are other thinking out of the box storage options I want to share with you. So, not only wait for the aftershocks of everything here, but I have done the research. I have found items for you. Very good prices. Nothing's over 500. I have things from under 100 up into two or three. I think I only have two things that are around the, over the 400. Not just bar cabinets, but other cabinets that are thinking out of the box. So, see you in a bit. saw correctly. Yes, that's a bottle of wine and some glasses in my cabinet. I mean, I enjoy very much having a glass of wine while I am relaxing in my bubble bath. So, I mean, come on guys, technically it is a bar. You guys, I can hardly recognize my bathroom. It's so empty, it's so organized. And now that I've conquered the storage and organization problem, needs a little bit of an update makeover, but we're gonna get to that later because I I can't 
just live. It's, it's just a white porcelain box and I'm padded up to here. But that is in a later video. Okay, let me show you some of the things that I found for you. Okay, if you are in the United States or Canada, I am starting with Cherish first. Okay, you guys, look at this cabinet. Now, it's called a wash stem with a towel bar. Of course, wash stem, you think bathroom, but these were usually back in the day in the bedroom or in a, a, a not the bathroom because, you know, you had a big ceramic jug and the um, bowl to wash your face. And even though that bar up there is supposed to be the towel bar, you guys imagine putting hooks on that bar and then different baskets hanging. Talking about optimizing storage, your brushes and your combs, your, your, you know, your lotions, uh, folded up extra washcloths, everything possible. Look how deep um, and how much room you have with the open doors at the bottom. And you have a big, nice, deep, drawer there. I find that really cute. And actually there's a couple of that are coming and I will go back and I'll show you. This, this was only priced at 215. Okay, I'm gonna let you do a screenshot right now if you're interested in that. I'm not gonna leave all the links down below because there's too many of them. But you see here, 19th century English oak wash stand with towel bar, 215 bucks, cherish. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Next thing I found, do you know like those old sewing cabinets that maybe your grandma or your great grandmother had? Look at this one here, mid-century Danish teak sewing cabinet, 1960s for $483. But the thing is, you can tell here that there are hinges that that top part totally opens, giving you access and storage. And then check this out. Look how that middle part swings out for also easy access and storage. And you can still store even in the lower level underneath. And then I checked, the other side has hinges too. So that means you can open both sides, both sides swing out. A lot of storage, small little cabinet, put it over in the corner. That could work. Then these 19th century antique Martha Washington sewing cabinets. This one's only for 295, also at Cherish. Look at the trick of this one. See how the flaps come open and how deep the storage is there? You know how sometimes you can get these half round little stackable carry trays, like when you were in college and you're taking your, your cosmetics to the, um, you know, to the shower area and everything from your room? You could put on the lower level, maybe extra cosmetics, extra products that um, you don't use that often and put on top the other ones. So you can get two levels of storage of how deep they are. And then you also have three drawers in the front with a deep one on the bottom. Also a cute idea. Here's another one, also cherished, a little bit more expensive, 495. Vintage federal style Astragal in work sewing table also with the sides that completely open for storage. This one's cute because do you see all the divisions in the drawers helping to keep your stuff even more organized and a better overview to find what you're looking for. I find that kind of cute, but I unfortunately needed a lot more storage. Another one of these Washington, oh yeah, by the way, now we're on ebay.com. This is also one of those Martha Washington, I don't, know why they're called Martha Washington. Maybe she designed it, maybe she created it. But this was only for $174.99. Also with the same deep side storage and drawers. But this one, look how the drawer has those bars to help keep your stuff from falling over, to help things stay in their place and stay organized. I mean, that is really genius. And even the bottom, oops, sorry. Even the bottom drawer is divided up with little compartments here and uh, the, drawer uh, the drawer trays. I think that's really cute. Another one here on eBay, one of these wash sinks where you could hang things on there in your baskets and store it. This one's only 175 bucks. Actually, I like this one a little bit better because of the, uh, the color of the wood. Here, this liquor cabinet. See how the middle piece pulls out? 
So, you know, it's one of those things that uh, you can pull out so you can set things on and when you don't need it, you push it back in and then it has plenty of storage underneath and then has the two cabinets at the top. Oh, what was the price of that one? $250. Okay, this one is another one of those Martha Washingtons for only $85. I found a ton of these. This was really cute. It's like a half Martha Washington. If you don't have the extra space or you need something a little bit smaller, that one side flips up, so if you do need it as surface, this is there, but it only has one storage side and three drawers. Again, here, the drawers are nicely divided with compartments and with the bars there. Okay, now I'm switched over to if you're in Europe or England or anything, we're on eBay uh, UK, 395. You guys look at this bar cabinet how it opens up, you have access to everything. The storage is incredible. That's what it looks like all closed up, open. The bottom also, the bottom also has like bars or something to keep your stuff from falling over and you can organize your products better. That's a complete bar, completely open. So much storage, so much access. With all the mirror, you can keep it clean. You're spilling things easy to wipe down. Yeah, this bar also. Now we're on Pomona, Pomona DE, but it handles all of European uh, dealers. This vitrine, secretary vitrine, is also very interesting. Do you see the sliding glass at the top? You can have your nice perfume bottles, the prettier things there. Then it opens up and you have storage in the middle compartment. You have storage sliding doors in the bottom compartment. It's very narrow so it can stay nice flat up against the wall. This is also an idea. This is a office um, cabinet. You know those rolling kind? Rolls down, opens up. The shelves are adjustable to your desire. That's also for a very small bathroom. You can get a lot of things in there and you don't have to worry about the extra room to have doors swinging out or anything. It just rolls down, disappears in the cabinet and you roll it back up. And there's another one here on Pomona. This is for 390 euros. This one's really cute because do you see how all the doors swing out? And the top one has compartments. It's a great idea. Okay, you guys, that's it. I hope while you're thinking how to maximize your storage, you think outside the box and think about your list and what you need and and um, try to find things just that they don't belong in a bathroom, but they can still for, work for you. Okay, guys, wrapping it up here, I have covered key storage problems and ideas by implementing these tips and thinking outside the box so you can transform even the smallest bathroom into a well-organized oasis. Remember, a tidy bathroom not only looks great, but also makes your daily routine more efficient and stress-free. Try out the storage ideas shared in this video, and don't forget to share your own tips down in the comments below. I love hearing from you, and together we can help each other create not only beautifully organized bathrooms, but homes. Okay, thanks for watching. Loved having you here. Happy organizing, and as always, yours truly, Art. Make it. Then sometimes you just have to. Oh. Then sometimes you just have to. Then sometimes you just have an. Uh, uh,